This is my granny square, the sunburst. And the way that I made this is that this part, the brown part, is double crocheted magic ring 15 times. Please watch my video on Tiffany's Crafts called Crochet Magic Circle Easy and Fast 4K for detailed instructions on how to make a magic circle. This video explains how to create a puff stitch. If you would like a more detailed explanation, please watch my video, Easy Crochet Basics, How to Crochet a Puff Stitch in the Round in 4K. I am working on the puff stitch and the yellow thread indicates where the magic circle is in the white thread is the puff stitch. The white puff stitch is a medium size stitch. It's not going to be as thick as the popcorn stitch. And the way that you begin this is you're going to chain one. And that chain one is going to indicate the height, but it's not going to count as the first stitch. And you're going to be creating the puff stitch in between the posts. My fingers here and my thumbs are indicate the, what a post, where the post is. So each puff stitch is going to be in between a post. Here's another one, post. Okay. And so I've already done a few of, of these so far. And so I had chained one and I did the puff stitch. And at the end of the puff stitch, you're going to secure it by chaining one and then you do a second chain before you begin the following puff stitch. So I'm going to do a few here, this example. You yarn over and you put the hook in the post and pull through in between the post and you want to pull your white thread up a little bit to to create height and you're going to do this three times so right now we have three loops on the hook and we're going to do this again until we have seven loops total on the hook Okay, now we have seven loops on the hook and then we are going to yarn over we're going to pull through and we want our hook to be in, in a down position like how i have it so it can pull through easily chain one. I am working with um, a hook size of 5.00 mm which is oh, I slash 9. What are you going to do? Repeat. You're going to repeat between each post for the whole entire uh, round. And then when we get to the end of the round, which is right here, we're going to look for our original chain of one and we're going to do a slip stitch. And then we're going to cut the yarn to do a new color, which is for um, the granny square.
how to make a shell stitch using a granny square. And this is an example of a sunburst granny square and where the black yarn is, is where I'm gonna be showing you how to do corners and shells. So I'm going to be making a, uh, a shell in the round using double crochet. So I'm going to wrap the yarn around my um, hook, which is a 5.00 mm, which is the size H8. H8. So I'm going to wrap it over and I'm going to put the hook in the hole here where I'm working in between the puff stitches. And then I'm going to wrap, go under. I have three loops on my hook. I'm going to wrap, go around, the, go over the first two loops wrap and go under the last two. Now a shell, that's a double crochet in the round. Now a shell is three double crochets. So I'm going to continue with this pattern of making double crochet in this hole. So we're going to do number two. Number three. And that is your shell from where my fingers are. That indicates where my fingers are, where the shell is. And then um, I'm gonna wrap over and under to, before I start the next shell, which is right in the hole right here in between the two puff stitches. We're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna do three double crochets in the same hole. So we're gonna wrap under we're going to go through, going to wrap, and we're going to go through the first two loops. And wrap and go over the second two loops. And we're going to repeat that. a corner and that is basically um, shells
Three shell, I mean, three double crochets equals one shell. And then to make the square part, I'm going to chain two, and that's what makes the square part. And then we're going to do three double crochets again in the same hole. And that's how you um, make the shell and a corner when making a uh, granny square in the round. But that's how you make a shell always in the round. I here, just three double crochets. And of course, you can always make your shell larger by doing more double crochets in the hole to make it big. You can even Make it look like a fan if you wanted to. A fan shape, which would be more like um, 10 double crochets if you wanted to. But um, but I'm doing three double crochet for um, my pattern for a granny square hat. And I am about to sew on these squares together. And I'm making a hat. A granny square bucket hat. And please enjoy the music that is of me playing my beautiful harp from my YouTube webpage Tiffany Juliet. And this um, page that you're watching is called Tiffany's Crafts. So so far I have sewn these two together. And I did that using the whip stitch. If you would like to have another example of how to sew the sides together using the whip stitch, please watch my other video that I have on YouTube called Easy Crochet Granny Square Hat Part 3 Sewing the Sides Together Whip Stitch and Bucket Brim in 4K. Thank you. The link for that video will be into the description. I put the wrong sides together and then I did the whip stitch on the sides. And that's how I'm going to do all of the granny squares. I'm using the same color of yarn on the, on the, from the granny squares so that the seams do not show so much. And this is the yarn that I'm using. It's called Tweed and it's called I Love This Yarn. And I got this over at Hobby Lobby. And it's a medium weight. It's called Ivy Tree Tweed. It's 97% acrylic. And it's a size. It's 252 yards. Okay, so I've got my needle, this, and I've got it all thread up, and I'm going to um, 
sew the two together. So I have the two wrong sides together like this and I'm going to be doing the whip stitch and the way that I like to do this is I look for the corner and I do the stitch right after I use the stitch right after the corner so I look for this corner and I look for the stitch after and that's how I put them together like this And I do the top stitches. I do, I mean, excuse me, the, the back stitch and the top and the front stitch together. So I put the two together and I'm going to make a knot here. And I'm just going to tie it one time. That's just good enough to keep it um, closed while I'm stitching. got them knotted up and now I'm going to look for the next stitch that I made the V so I'm going to take this V which is the back and I'm going to put it to the front of the the, the next V like this that's how you do the whip stitch and then uh, you, after I do that I'm going to go back right where I started I'm not going to go like this and sew it. I'm just going to do it right from like how I had started before. And I'm using the back V to the front V on the next granny square. And I'm going to go along the side and I'm going to do it that way until the side is done. And then, um, then I'm going. And when I'm at the done, when I'm done with the side, I'm going to knot it, and then I'm going to sew the next two together. And I'm going to do this for all of the squares. Then, um, when I'm done, I'm going to take the top. Of the hat and I'm going to sew the top to the granny squares and that's how you do with the whip stitch it's one of the easiest stitches to do to put granny squares together I have all the sides sewn together and we are ready to sew the top. So I'm going to take the top and I purpose so I'm going to take the top and I purposely made the top larger. So this is probably about a seven, eight inch granny square and the sides are, and, and these, which is gonna be on the sides of the head are about five inches. And so I'm going to, as you can see, this is much bigger than this. <laughs> and 
this is smaller than than this thing's here bigger so I'm going to still um, put them and sew them using the whip stitch going around here on the edges and then on this side I'm going to take this and I'm going to sew that together and then I'm going to take this I'm going to sew this together with the with the whip stitch and then I'm going to take this side and I'm going to sew this together now I will be doing the whip stitch on the wrong side so I don't see the seams and uh, that's how I'm going to put the top together and then I'm going to work on the brim so I'm sewing up the top and I started with the top granny square and I'm doing the whip stitch and I'm going to sew the top to all of the uh, granny squares that I have so I'm doing the whip stitch right now The song is of me playing Arabian dance from the Nutcracker on my harp. Outside, my golden harp on a deck. So, so far we have one side done. And uh, it kind of is going to look like that on the correct side. And I'm just going to continue sewing this side and putting them all together. It's not necessary to sew them on the wrong side, but I don't want my seams to show. 